Good morning, friends, and welcome back to another hour of your Saturday edition of Good Morning Vale, live on the couch with the Fresh Tracks comedy troupe and their lovely little alpaca here. Look at this little guy. Look at him. So adorable. And you can get yourselves one of these alpacas and see these incredible comedians live this evening at Vale Brewing Company, something you're not going to want to miss. Uh, we've got Mark, Eland, Corey, and Jacob here, some truly professional Comedians, Whoa. truly Whoa. professional. Oh, bro. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> These guys just came in from Aspen last evening, and uh, you guys are kind of constantly touring, hitting up the Denver club scene. Give me a fun little story about touring. What's been going on? Yeah, probably my best experience was last night in Aspen. Uh, I needed 45 minutes of parking, and it was only $13. So, <laughs> real pleasure to pay that. Uh, Steamboat, I've been to Steamboat, a bunch of other ski towns. Uh, Kyle Ruff and everybody at the Steamboat Comedy Club, they put on amazing shows and just great crowds. I just really love how enthusiastic the mountain community is towards comedy, yeah. especially free comedy. We just don't get enough yucks. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? yeah. uh, Eland, I bet you've got some pretty fun stories. Oh yeah, story. <laughs> what's, what's, I do, I do have fun stories. Uh, fun. I, yeah, I'm a fun guy. Thank yeah, you, Corey. I know, I know. Um, this is my, this is my, one of my good friends. You were uh, supposed to tell everybody I'm your best friend when the camera came on. Oh, okay, this is Corey David. So in, Can uh, we start again? A story about me. And uh, three. <laughs> Actually, for my name, like, can you just do Elon's best friend? <laughs> That'd be pretty good. You should change your Instagram name to that. Oh, yeah, it already is. What is your Instagram name? <laughs> Elon told me. <laughs> uh, a, a good story. I just like, I like being on the road. Uh, and I like going to new places and, and meeting uh, just new cultures and new environments and making people laugh. So yeah. I don't really have any good stories. I just, I just like... Make you just live in the dream. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have no complaints. Elon just always crushes, which is why you should come see him tonight. At Bell <laughs> Bay Company at 7.30. Also, if you saw me in the last time I was here, I have new material. So oh, yeah, um, it's I don't the, believe you. It's the Fresh Tracks tour, Corey David. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Corey. Well, Elon stole my answer. I also love other cultures, so... <laughs> <laughs> that was my other. What's thing. that material about? Oh, my! It's mostly about the black community. I like to think that it's you know I've got a pretty good insight. I talk to Elon a lot. I don't know if you heard, but we're best friends, oh. so we get we get in a lot of time, together, especially on the road. Yes. Uh, but no, I think my favorite road story is probably I was driving from. I used to live in upstate New York, mm -hmm. and I was driving uh, from Albany to Syracuse for a gig that was last minute. Booker gets a hold of me, says, "Hey, can you make this thing tonight?" Of course, I'll do it. Uh, and then I drive three hours through a blizzard and it was at a club that was cavernous, like 350 people normally. That's the seating capacity. I think because of the weather and probably the comedy, about 12 people showed up. So not a great turnout, right? <laughs> and usually for low attendance like that, they'll seat everybody together, but they just let everybody sit wherever they wanted to. So there's like two over here, three in the back. And two people were nice enough to sit up front, uh, those people being the person that came with me and my mother, who lives <laughs> locally, uh, which is totally fine. My mom's been to plenty of shows. But the worst part was that while I'm on stage bombing terribly, I can hear my mom whispering to the person at the table, that's not how that happened. That's not how that really happened. It's exaggerating. It took every ounce of energy to be like, Mom, shut the fuck up. You could have brought her into the act. I should have, in hindsight. It yeah. would have been, been way better in hindsight if I I just let everybody know what was happening. It's like, hey, everybody, I just wanted you to know my childhood is unfolding before me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, things you learn like later on that you yeah. could have done differently. All right, yeah. thanks, Corey and Jacob. You're the you're the yes. veteran of I this am. troop. What do you got for us? Oh, Wiley, Come on, Wiley, that. Come well, on <laughs> teach me. Yeah, that. I think um, one of my favorite stories is I did a after prom show for in Broomfield, Colorado, at 4 a.m. on a Saturday once, uh, and I had to open with um, seven minutes clean and it's still the most money I've ever made at a show. <laughs> um, and then the worst part is uh, Corey David's mom was heckling me. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how she got there. But, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much for coming back for a second interview. I'm super. I'm definitely going to have to head down to Vail Brewing Company. 7.30 p.m. this yeah. evening. Sure. Get yourself an alpaca sticker. See these lovely bunch of rapscallions. <laughs> Enjoy a Vail Brewing beer. 7.30 p.m. Vail Brewing Company in Eagle Vale. And we got Nebraska. Come Thank on. You. Hi, Nebraska. Thanks for joining us on K3. <laughs> we got plenty more fun on Good Morning Vale this morning coming up after this. Thank you, Eric.